Welcome to the video of Ort. Mishnah Novos tells us that there are two types of disputes that one can engage in. One is machlokes l'shem shamayim, a sincere dispute. That, for example, is the disagreement between Hillel and Shammai in matters of halacha. And then there is machlokes shalol l'shem shamayim, where the parties are not pure in their motivations in this dispute. And that, as an example, is a machlokes of Korach v'adaso against the leadership of Moshe Rabbeinu. The Kliyakar wonders about this idiom, this phrase, Machlokas L'Shem Shamayim, which literally means, for the name of heaven. Why does this term, L'Shem Shamayim, imply sincerity or truthfulness of, uh, of motivations? Says the Kliyakar, to understand this, we have to go back to the beginning of Sefer Bereshis, Parshas Bereshis. When Hashem created the world, it was this mass of watery mess, and God created the Rakia as a dividing line between the upper spheres and the lower spheres. And then the Torah tells us, Vayikra, that God named the Rakia Shamayim. He called the Rakia Shamayim. What is the, why did God do it? The Rakia and the Shamayim are the exact same thing. Uh, the English translations would say Rakia is a firmament and, the, uh, and Shamayim is heaven. But the names do not mask the fact that they're the exact same thing. This division between the upper spheres and the lower spheres. Says the Kliyakar, the name is everything here. Because the word Rakia itself implies division. The word Shamayim implies coherence and uh, uh, coexistence and cohesion. Because in fact the word Shamayim is a contrast, contract, contraction between the words Eish and Mayim, a uh, fire and water. Fire and water do not naturally coexist. They cannot naturally coexist. That is a machlokes, l'shem shamayim, for the name shamayim, which the two parties are coming in from totally opposite angles and cannot, uh, at, at the beginning, see their way to coexist with one another. But the motivation is to disagree and dispute for the purposes of finding perhaps a solution or at least coexistence. That is a machlokes l'shem shamayim. A machlokes shalol l'shem shamayim, like Korach against the leadership of Moshe, that's the machlokes, the disagreement of Rakia. It might look like shamayim. It might look like the heavens. Its, fun its function is the same, creating a division between the higher and the lower spheres, but no, it is entirely different because the motivation of the parties in the dispute are to create friction, disagreement, discord, and a differentiation. That kind of machlokas is a machlokas which shall not endure, which cannot endure. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us, that when we find the need to disagree and dispute with one another, we do so with the motivations of L'Shem Shamayim. For after all, HaKadosh Baruch Hu taught us that the name Rakia, the idea of Rakia, has been banished to the dustbin of history. Good job.